things were made by God, and without God nothing came to be. What came to be through God was life, and this life was the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Good afternoon, and welcome to this blue Christmas service. I'm so glad those of you who are here in person are here in person, and I'm also grateful for those of you who are joining us online for doing so. The service is offered with the recognition that this time of the year can be particularly difficult for people. Uh, loss and want are even more keenly felt against the backdrop of the Christmas season. So we have this service. We call it a blue Christmas service because we are um, uh, comfortable bringing to God uh, the entirety of our lives, including those places where we struggle and we feel loss and want. Um, and we remember that Christ was born into our world in a condition of uh, homelessness and uh, fear and concern and war, um, that it was a very difficult time for his family and for his people. Um, so uh, this is an appropriate service for this season, our blue Christmas service. A few um, uh, notes about our service. Um, I hope that all of you who are here in person picked up a memory star uh, before you came into the sanctuary. If you did not, will you please raise your hand and uh, one of our ushers will uh, bring you one. And uh, those of you who are participating at home uh, via the uh, streamed service, um, later in this service you'll have an opportunity to uh, communicate with us via Facebook and someone here will uh, take your prayer, uh, your concern, your need, uh, as we address those with these stars. There'll be a time in our service where we can um, write a name or a circumstance, a situation, a memory, or a hope, um, a pain, um, a struggle on this, and uh, this will be uh, hung on our tree at the conclusion of the service. So those of you who are watching at home, there's someone here who will take that from you. You can access that uh, via our Facebook feed. Also, if you brought a photo of someone that uh, you would like to share and place up here uh, on our uh, table next to the candles, later in the service, those of you who are here in person will be invited to come forward and light a candle uh, in remembrance or recognition of someone or some uh, circumstance again. And if you have a photo that you'd like to bring at that time, we invite you then to come forward and just uh, set it here on our table. At this time, I invite those of you here in person, please stand in body or in spirit, and all of us to sing O Little Town of Bethlehem. Will you stand and sing?
reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 11. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What does the worker gain from his toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on man. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the hearts of men, yet they cannot fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Will you please join me in the responsive reading of Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? So far from the words of my groaning. Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer. And by night, but I find no rest. In you, our ancestors trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. It was you who brought me from the womb, you who kept me safe on my mother's breast. Since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near and there is no one to help. God does not despise the affliction of the afflicted. God does not hide from me, when I cry to God, God hears me. Thanks be to God. Let us share this 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Here are selected verses from Isaiah 40. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her a voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all mankind together will see it. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. All men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God stands forever. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. This is the time for us to take our memory star, if you're here in person, and write on it the name of a person or persons or a concern or a memory or hope 
And at the conclusion of our service, I'll invite you to come forward and hang your memory star on our Christmas tree. Again, if you are worshiping with us today online, you can, via our Facebook lead, submit your name or concern or prayer, and someone here will write it on the star for you and hang it for you at the conclusion of our service. So Kristen will play music for a few moments as we um, mark and write on our memory star. We pause to remember clearly their faces, their voices, their bodies. We embrace and give thanks for the memories that bind them to us in this season of expectation when all creation waits for the light. Everyone, we remember them with love. May God's eternal love surround them. We light this second candle to remember the pain of loss. 
loss of relationships, loss of trust, loss of jobs, loss of health, loss of faith, and the loss of joy. We acknowledge and embrace the pain of the past, O oh God, and we offer it to you, asking that into our wounded hearts and open hands, you will place the gift of peace. Shalom. Remember that through you, all things are possible. Refresh, restore, renew us, O oh God, and lead us into your future. We light this third candle to remember ourselves this Christmas time. We pause and remember the past weeks, months, and for some of us years that have been heavy with our burdens. We accept and lay before you, God, the sharpness of memory, the sadness and grief, the hurt and fear, the anger and pain. We accept and lay before you the ways we feel we have fallen short and the times we have spent blaming ourselves and you for all that we have suffered. We accept and lay before you the time we have walked alone in darkness and in knowledge of our own mortality. We, we remember, remember that, that though we have journeyed far and that while lost, we may have turned away from the light. The light itself has not failed. We remember that though winter be upon us and though the dark be dark, with the turning of the wheel that dawn of to come, and dawn defeats the darkness. Thank you. 
We light this fourth candle to remember faith, the gift of light and hope that God offers to us in Christmas, which began in abandonment, insecurity, and humbleness in a time of war and in a poor stable. We remember our loving God kept the light shining in the temple and came to share this life with us, promising us comfort and peace. We remember the one who shares our burdens, who shows us the way to the light, and who journeys with us into all our tomorrows. For the responsive prayers of the people, will you please stand as you are able? God of wisdom, we come to you this Christmas season tired, in turmoil, and in pain. As the nights have grown longer, so has darkness grown and wrapped itself around our hearts. In this season of longest night, we ask your healing blessings upon all that we carry in our hearts. Sorrow we fear may never end, wounds we cannot even put into words. Lord, hear our prayer, and, and in, in your, your merciful, merciful love, love answer. answer. God of mercy and compassion, there are those among us who are grieving over what might have been. Death or loss or terrible hurt has changed our experience of Christmas. We remember that once it was a special day for us too, that someone or something precious has gone away from us in this life. We have lost a beloved, a job, a goal, a cause, a dream. We find ourselves adrift and alone. We are weary from the journey and we have found no room at the inn. We come to you seeking rest and peace and shelter from the storm. Lord, hear our prayer, and, and in, in your, your merciful, merciful love, answer. answer. God of grace, in the spirit of the season, grant us all that we need to comfort us as we journey through this Christmas season. We ask that you shelter and sustain all those of us, both here and throughout the world, who wander or want or weep or are heavy laden that we may be lifted up in courage and journey on in thy peace. Lord, hear our prayer, and in, and your, in merciful your merciful love, love answer. answer. God of love, in this Christmas season, we embrace and offer up to you all that used to be, which is now lost to us and cannot be again. With celebration all around us, memories of what was and fears of what may be, weigh heavy on our hearts. Please hold us close in your embrace.
be near to us this day. Until the light returns and morning comes, Lord, hear our prayer. And in, and your, in your merciful, merciful love, answer. answer. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this day. And give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for thy love's sake. Amen. Will you please remain standing and sing Away in a Manger. Please be seated. From Luke chapter 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths, and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Let us pray. Gentle God of love, help us reach out together for the light of faith, for renewal and recovery and a new day coming. Grant that hope may come to rest in our hearts and let it go forth with us into the darkness, this night and in the nights to come until we see the dawn. At this time, we invite you to come forward and light a candle, placing it in the sand.
Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O God. Give us light in the night season, and by your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this day. Amen. join with me in reading Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, the God that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon at night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, and shall sustain thy soul. He shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in, from this time forth, and even forevermore. Will you please stand for our unison prayer? Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for your constant love and for the blessings of this day. We know that even when we cannot see or feel you, still you are there. Help us to remember you and to listen for your voice in the words of family, friends, and strangers. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you reveal yourself in the world and in our lives. Let the light of your Holy Spirit shine like these candles in the darkness, lighting the way for all who feel despairing, lost, or forgotten, and grant that it may come to dwell so deeply in our hearts that when we leave this place, it may shine on for us and for those we meet along the way. Amen. Will you remain standing and sing, Silent Night, Holy Night.
Let us pray. Another day will come, O God. I know not what it may bring forth, but make me ready, God, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, help me to do it gallantly. Make these words more than words, and give me the spirit of thy peace. Amen. O oh God, support us all the day long in this troubled life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, Lord, in thy mercy, grant us safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. I invite those of you who would like to, to come forward and hang your memory stars on our Christmas tree, at the conclusion of which you are invited to join us in the narthex for a time of refreshment. <laughs>